that is this little unit here. We've been out in the winter, so we've set up the heating. So I'll try to remember to set it for um, summer, which we probably would have done. So I think uh, we would have been before you. So we would have set it for air conditioning. So just that is the main on switch. Switch it on, and that should come on to uh, some kind of cooling um, system. But there are there is a con uh, an instruction book in the middle drawer in the unit. There is the LG LG air conditioning instructions book. Have a look through that. Look through it. I'm sure you will work it out for yourselves. It's pretty easy. Also, there you've got the TV, DVD player. There are no English channels. Um, Spanish don't like English watching English TV, and you probably don't want to watch much TV anyway. But there are some DVDs in this unit here. Open this up. It gets a bit stuck on the road, but it slides out. And there's there's plenty of DVDs in there. There's all sorts of stuff. You may want to bring some of your own. DVDs, which are maybe a bit more suitable for children, etc. There are a few children's ones there, but uh, that works. The TV controls, which is the big one. Switch the red button, switch the TV on, and then just use the DVD player. There are some instructions for the TV and DVD player, but just if you just press the eject button on the DVD player, that'll open the slot, and then if you just press the play button on the DVD player, it'll shut and play. So that should be self self explanatory. Got a couple of little floor lamps, which are sort of, uh, adjustable lighting. So they just they just switch on at night. If you if you're in, if you want to stay in, they're put on either side. So that works easily. And as you face the room from the patio doors to the left, you've got the first front-facing bedroom, which is a twin room, which is a lovely bright room. Got a little table lamp and some set of drawers. There's a built-in wardrobe there, so there's no plenty of space and it's nice and bright, so that's okay. In, in each room there was to be some shutters, but I'll explain that in the next room, just so I'm not doing it in each room. So you've also got another a back bedroom, which is a similar setup, twin beds, curtains. Now this room hasn't got a balcony, um, and the window does go straight out, four floors straight down. So I would advise you not to open these windows. What I normally do is, open the shutters in this room just so they let the light in but without opening them fully just so nobody does anything stupid and falls out the window but it, it's pretty perfectly safe but uh, probably best to follow those guidelines so there's a built-in cupboard in there going through into the master bedroom there's a lovely picture there of me going through into the master bedroom this is a double bed um, you've got a again built-in water there's all built-in water bedside lamps etc. These are the shutters. The shutters will be in the down position. We always shut them at the end of the stay. So just to do those you've got beside the curtains you've got a little strappy things and to open them you need to just, just pull them open basically like that when it comes to shutting. Pull them out at the bottom and drop them down. Yeah they, they get a bit sticky at times they might need just just spinning a bit but anyway they'll be They'll, they work, they work, they work. So just push them out, just be a bit careful with them. They're pretty old, they've been there since the flat was built. So I've replaced the strings once or twice and tried to roll them whenever. So they should work, but anyway, that's good. Um, I think that's all in this room. So that's the three bedrooms. Then going through into the bathroom. As I say, in the bathroom, the switch for hot water is above the door, behind the door, but you shouldn't need to worry about that because we leave that on and that just comes on obviously when you switch the electric on. You've got the loo, which is a loo, that's straightforward. On the shelf there should be some loo rolls, we try and keep some loo rolls at all times, so that should be okay. And then you've got towels, bathroom towels, beach towels. You feel free to use these you know, at the end of your stay, just uh, put them down on the floor and we'll get them washed somewhere out, the laundry or whatever. Um, okay, the shower unit is, uh, we put this put in a couple of years ago, it wasn't exactly what it was, a bit tight and a bit Carlos Fandango, but uh, it's, it's not bad, it gives you a decent shower and the hot water runs pretty well. Uh, to work the shower, you've got two large knobs, which is fairly unfamiliar to me of course, but if you grab the bottom large knob, for now, for now, and that push that up and that turns the water on, we try to leave the hand set to the right so it's set on that one so the water just hits the wall not your face so that switches the water on to adjust the heating turn it to the right for heat 
to the left for cool so that's easy the knob above that adjusts where the jet will come from so as i say we try and leave it on the the handset on the right to start with take one click to the left and it will come to the upper shower um, unit on the on the on the set on the unit and one further click will set the body jets just to wash your body of sand etc now this shower unit was obviously designed for spanish people and midgets um, any normal height people will struggle to get more than a chest wash with this so i put in a further shower thingy holder up there on the wall so you can put the one on the side there up there to have a normal shower okay the doors just slide two one two and just they sort of they click together they're a bit they're a bit fiddly but just sort of mag magnetic they will hold but just uh i'd say the whole thing's a bit fiddly but it works and it's a nice hot shower so it's a it's a bonus in spain to be fair um, then we've got the washing machine if you wish to wash any small or whatever you need to wash i get my assistant to come in now to demonstrate this because obviously being a man I don't know how these machines work so I will call my assistant. Assistant would you like to come in and demonstrate the washing machine please? Assistant? I'll just go and find out where my assistant is. Assistant? Karen? Yeah? Would you like to come and demonstrate the washing machine please? Oh, the, the audience are waiting. This, here comes the assistant. She, once again she's late. Anyway, we go back to the washing machine. Okay. Right. Washing machine. Hang on. Remove the towel so you can Hang see what's on. going on. So and you press it on. First of all, you first of all you oh, yeah. load your load your bits and bobs in yeah. the thing. In there. As you do, shut the door. How do you press it on again? Just press the on on button on. that'll set the little yeah. green light stuff going. Then the temperature button you set that to what you want: 40, 60, 90, or 30. Then you turn the dial. The easiest one is Lavado Rapido. And then you press the pause button. And then it starts. And that just runs for 34 minutes. 34 minutes that will wash and dry. And at the end it plays a little tune. So once your little tune's been played, there's a wash basket somewhere which which is behind me facing the washing machine. So one further thing I forgot to do on my other takes this is probably about take 15 for this video by the way take the washing out of the bathroom and back to the front door and we all have washing lines uh so i'll just show you which r1 is out through the front door now surprisingly r1 isn't the first one r1 is as you open this little doory thing as you look out through the windows there you've got the first washing line and the second wash the second washing line is ours so that just runs in and out and the pegs, you see, that, that dries pretty quick in the summer, obviously, so that's quite good for washing your stuff. The pegs are in a basket somewhere, which my assistant will tell me again. Assistant, where would you keep the pegs? No, they're in the cupboard. Okay, go back round. Yeah. The pegs are, oh, in the utility cupboard, the very useful yeah. utility cupboard. Okay. In this